Hi everybody, this is Chris. And this is Matt. And if you've been joining us for a while, we miss you. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, there's there's been a lot of delays and upheavals and things, but we're back. Yeah. And if you're we're joining us for the that. first time, none of that matters, because hello. <laughs> yes, welcome. Welcome. Uh, if it's your first time, we're doing a game that was Brian Fargo's first time. How's that for a segue? Nice. Isn't that? That's, that's almost professional here. And if it's your first time, you should know we're never really professional. No. And also, what should they know, Matt? That this is not a review. We don't review games. So if you're coming here for a review, uh, we hope you'll hang around and see what we do instead, which is more of a book club style discussion where we That's often funny. go off topic. Uh, and if you want a review, I don't know, four out of banana. <laughs> go go on Game Informer if you want a review. This is this is real shit. This is two <laughs> two assholes with opinions talking about Demon's Forge. Yeah, yeah. I I and to already start off topic, I we I, this comes up every so often, but I've never understood why you'd want a review of a game from 1981. Like we, you're know, like I don't know if I should buy it. Like you, <laughs> no, no. The answer is no. The answers, answers probably no. Yeah, I, um, I think like nostalgia is yeah. what drives people. Like you don't want a review of this. If you're trying to collect everything related to Brian Fargo, good luck. Yeah, this we one's have tough. A seven degrees of Brian Fargo game constantly running here. <laughs> yeah, and Brian Fargo loves our show and told me on LinkedIn the other day that we're that he likes us way better than he likes Matt Barton. <laughs> so this might be kind of a tricky conversation to have. You had me going for half a second. You legit. <laughs> Yeah. Brian Fargo like, does not know who we are. Did you does talk to him on shit. LinkedIn? Because I literally found him on LinkedIn today and was like, I'll follow. And like <laughs> Yeah. No. No. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything about me. Oh my god. Okay. Uh well he might know about us because when Bart's Tale trilogy came out, they in exile approached us to Oh yeah. So they That's true. he might know we exist and some weird shape or form but i don't think he watches the show so probably not if if you are watching brian we have nothing but respect but i think you know where this conversation is going <laughs> <laughs> yep this is like watching this fucking game is like watching brian fargo learn how to write basic that's what this is there was to kind of get into it here uh, I'm going to jump to the beginning, start playing on the side here. Um, one of the reviews I found from back in the time, because I love going and finding reviews from the time to make sure like my opinion that I've just formed isn't grounded strictly in, you know, 30, 40 years of build up. Uh, the parser, however, is very, is not very forgiving. Player must use exact words, phrase to achieve desired effect. In some cases, the required uh, the phrase required seems needlessly obscure. Demon's Forge is a good first effort by a new software house. Yeah, and that's exactly it. If well, this, you... if somebody brought this to me as their first game, my mind would be blown. Yeah, if I... someone charged me twenty bucks for this game, I wouldn't be as impressed <laughs> yeah exactly well you know you you say that about going back and reading the reviews I, I think that's a good exercise because when i played this i was like the other game we played that was kind of like this was dark lord mm -hmm. which i thought was a pretty good example of the genre yes and i was like man i'm gonna tell i'm gonna say fuck demons forge you got to go play dark lord but dark lord was 1987 this is 1981 and like if you don't go back and and put it in the context of the time through reading reviews or just like 
looking about where technology was, you can kind of lose that because, you know, we're a few years out from the 80s now. And it's hard to, like, think about the difference between 81 and 87. I mean, yeah, 1980 was 10 years ago, which is amazing because 1990 <laughs> was 10 years ago. <laughs> exactly. Exactly my point. <laughs> no, it is. It is. And, like, I'm, you're seeing the Apple II version here. I don't know which version of the Apple II version because I do think they released a graphics updated one. This is the first. This is the original say, 1981. This is the first, first one. Yeah. Yeah. There was there was one that came out in '83 that was a re-release with graphics, and then our old friends at Mastertronic released it in '87 yeah. under DOS and I think Apple maybe yep. at the same time on That's the same what I disc. Understood, yeah. Yeah. Which is weird because, man, if you if I bought this even from Mastertronic in '87, I'd be pissed. I like, remember seeing this fixed. in one of those big bins at Shopco for ten bucks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, like, if you had it a three pack for five, okay. Like, mm -hmm. I remember getting a Cosme Top Twenty for ten bucks, and mm -hmm. that was. First off, it had Beyond Forbidden Forest and Forbidden Forest, so it was worth the 20 bucks. That's but it okay. had a bunch of other stuff that was hit or miss in there, too. That Sure. You know, so I en I could enjoy the shit games because I had, like, good games. Like, I had enough bread on my shit sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. With this, though, like, the problem... I don't even, why don't you start? Because I have so many ideas about this. The problem is that this, well, one of the problems right. is that I've this is, two. I'm like, I'm ready to go with my pencil gesturing at you. One of the problems is that this is treading in a nebulous space between your Infocom all text adventures and a graphical adventure. Mm -hmm. And it's in an awkward time where it's actually more immersive in all text than it is with these crude drawings it would be if the text actually described the room right right so they eschewed the text descriptions for the visuals and that was not good to do mm -mm. that was a mistake and i think that goes back to this being his first game Mm -hmm. um it, it just didn't have enough polish to it i think there's some really good ideas in here but because there's no clues i shouldn't say no clues there's very often no clue to a puzzle and you just have to throw yourself against it till you figure it out Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to stop. Let me let me bounce back a second here, because here's one of them. Uh, let me pause this. Boop. This is the puzzle that is exactly what we're talking about. You enter this armory, and you see a chest thing on the left, three doors, and a banner. And the first time you enter this room, there's some text that says, a skinny man goes running by. But if you're playing the way I did, and just looking at the graphics, you might just leave the room. Right. And then that skinny man is gone, and you cannot finish the game. Absolutely. And even if you know what direction he heads because you've played the game before and you head in that direction, it's still, you still don't do it correctly. You have yeah. to type follow man. You have to follow the man. And and that is the, per, and, and keep in mind, you're three minutes into the game at this point. Right. So the, the problem is twofold with this game. 
you have these really obscure puzzles that do not really follow any kind of real world logic. Like the skinny man is skinny and you give the skinny man rations and, and that's like a, a reasonable puzzle. Right. It's a However, reasonable puzzle. I wish there were a few more clues to it, but okay, whatever. And, and, and you start with the rations, mm -hmm. by the way. So it's not like you picked those up. So it requires you to have looked in your inventory. Right. Which, but what, yeah, I didn't do originally, but go on. Right. But what the problem is, you have obscure puzzles and the world's shittiest command parser. And when you put those two things together, it becomes impossible to navigate your way through this game. Yeah. Like... Did I, was it earlier in here? Let me see. I want to just check something. Oh, here we go. The yeah, let's just start right here with, with me in this costume. Okay, so we walk in. And you there's a costume laying here, and you have to search it for a vial. You're going to need the vial later. There's mm -hmm. no reason you would know to search costume. I don't know any other games that kind of make you do that. Mm -hmm. There's a costume here. So search costume. You don't find a thing. Okay. I know I need to because I've played the game before and I know I've searched. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure that you don't find a thing. So I figure, okay, I must have to pick it up first. Take costume. Doesn't work. I figure I spelled it wrong. I try it again. Look. Make sure there's a fucking costume here because I might see it, but that doesn't mean it's actually in the room because I had problems with the chest and the armory before. Mm -hmm. Search costume again. You don't find a thing. Take costume. You yeah. have to try a different word. Take all. Nope. Try a different word. You got to use Look. get. Got to use get. This is how much work it took to figure out. Take isn't a word. Right. Right. And take robe. Take outfits. Take yeah, you really all. tried every. You tried everything but get. I was, ah, and there I go, get costume. You got I'm it. Like, mother, like, I'm not even happy right now. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And I understand as a first game, he, he's not going to think, I need to spell out every verb that could possibly verb a verb on well, a 1981 Apple II. I, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm, I'm willing to cut him some slack, but at the same time, you have to think exactly like Brian Fargo to finish this game. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's, that's the situation you find yourself. So you may even have the right idea, but you're so like jaded by trying to use this command line parser that you might give up on your, what's essentially the right idea. Right. Because it's not parsing right. the way you expect it to. So, yeah, so my first problem with it is um, like the parser's shit. Mm -hmm. It has no concept of synonyms. No. And like take isn't in there, but get is. For the red gem, red works, but gem doesn't. That bag works, nuts. but ash doesn't. Like, so the bag of ash, like here, here's get ashes. Nope. Get bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to know exactly what the game wants. Right. And that's before we get to puzzles like the Skinny Man, where it doesn't give you enough clue. And so you end up with a lot of trial and error, which I know is typical for these type of games, but this one is excessive. Mm -hmm. And... The worst part is, is you can end up really hosing yourself, like with the skinny man or mm -hmm. some stuff with the fire elemental later or just different ways where you've ruined your chance of winning. Right. And you don't know that. You have no idea. There's no clue. There's no. And because yep. the game is so obtuse, like, you not you don't run into something and go, oh, I should have saved this for that. I got to right. go back and try and figure another way past that. Right. You just end up standing in a hall going, did I now, miss something? 
did I, you know, what, because, like, here's another one. In part of the game, you find a carrot. In another part of the game, you find a rabbit. And to me, the logical thing is you give the carrot to the rabbit, but mm -hmm. the rabbit wants water. And right. Why do you know that? Exactly. There's no clue to that puzzle. You just have to try it because you're nine. And you're trying everything. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, the puzzles are range from okay to just right. so illogical that they're meaningless. Right. And I can see, and we've, we've said this a lot, if it's the only game you have to play, you'd play it. And I would have. Back in 1981, 1982, if this was one of, like, five games I had on the computer, I could see me taking my computer time on a Saturday, pulling this open, and just trying a couple more things to see if I can shake anything else loose. Mm -hmm. I can see young me, like, enjoying that occasional, just, let's see what this does. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this does. But not now. Like, <laughs> One of my formative computer experiences was getting past the, the puzzle where you have to breathe into a bottle. <clears throat> There's like these stabs and, and, mm -hmm. and they kind of correspond to these elemental rooms or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you have to breathe into a bottle. And I had been stuck with my brother and I had been stuck on this game. And so we just went out to the files and basically like catted them out i don't know typed mm -hmm. them out or whatever you did in in apple and like looked through the files for strings yes and then and then just like figured it out that way i i can kind of appreciate that it's it's yeah i mean I it's mean. it's it would fall under what i would technically call cheating but it's such its own game that you're just playing a different game like you know what i mean like it's right it's, yeah like, and i it's can't, so weird I can't say that was slacking like <laughs> yeah it, and i mean it 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 kind of pulled the curtain back on computing for me in a way that that you know as a young kid i never would have thought about mm -hmm. so you know this game was important to me for that reason right <clears throat> and yeah i'll never fault the game for like if it's inspired somebody to do that that's that's always cool. Mm -hmm. um, but as a game, dude, dude. It's it's bad news it bears. Yeah. The other thing I have that I'm going to just kind of kick it in the pants for here, because there's a visual aspect to the rooms, when you move from room to room, it sometimes changes your orientation of looking at the room. Right. You're not always looking north. Sometimes you'll enter a room and you're looking east-west. Mm -hmm. Or you're looking to the south. Or you're looking just in different directions. And... Uh... Oh, this was fun, too. Trying to figure out how to put the rod. Oh, yeah. The fucking rod. So those car alarms going off outside. Um, um, yeah. But the, the rooms aren't always oriented. So if you're trying to map or figure your way out and kind of scope out where you are to try and figure out where to go next, mm -hmm. that orientation really, it makes it hard to let you feel like you know where you're going in this. And it's, it's, yeah. it's not the hugest problem. You have to pay a lot of attention to both the text and the visuals and kind of link it together in your in your mind. Right. The, the thing that, like, it, the whole thing bums me out, too, because this, there's some, like, this bird head statue, like, this is an interesting yes. bit of world. Mm -hmm. But... The world in general is just kind of not that great. It reminds me of what
what eight-year-old me would have done for a dungeon. Yeah. By 16, I was building more logical dungeons, but like mm -hmm. my way up was let's throw a weird puzzle in a room for no given reason and uh, make people figure it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, let's have a yeah. bird head in one room. Let's have weird caverns to cross for no reason. And I think there's a fun and a magic to that era of gaming that like, I, it probably sounds like I'm being negative on it for that, but no. I'm not. I enjoy the funhouse dungeon aspect of this. Like, I like a good bird head statue yeah. for no reason. Four staves on the wall. One's glowing. What do you do? Like, I don't know. Like, what yeah. should I do? Why? Okay, I figured out what to do with that staff. Now the next one's glowing. Holy, why? I go into a room. It's completely covered with X's. Why? What? Yeah. And, and the, other, the other problem with the world is that there are rooms. There's like a storeroom. Yeah. And you think there's got to be something in this storeroom or this alchemy room or whatever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's just nothing in there. Yeah. And, and you think you're like going to search cabinet. But again, because the parser is so terrible, you're like, don't know if you're not searching the credenza or the yeah. cabinet or, you know. Yeah. Search wall the China cabinet. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. Maybe there is a set of words that works for that, but I never found them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is the storage area. Yeah. And so you think there should be something in here, but there's just not. No. It's just like a room for the room's sake, which could be okay, but don't make right. it a storage room. So yeah, so you got some places like that. They're obvious and they're drawn and there's something that's been put to them and it's it's it draws your attention to it and then there's nothing there. And then you got something where later in there's a guard room and if we don't get to it before we start closing up i'll find it on here because i want to show it where if you're looking at the graphics and i did you play the dos version or the apple version here? I, this is the same version i played okay I, I was gonna say i don't know if the dos version is different but there's a guard room where you got to climb a wall mm -hmm. and you don't there's no reason you would necessarily think to climb the wall mm -hmm. uh other than the graphics on the back look weird mm -hmm. and like if you use your imagination once you think climb wall like okay you see the ladder but otherwise it could just be them trying to pretend they're bricks like you don't you don't know right exactly like, i mean look at this lovely drawn well uh if, well if... <laughs> that this puzzle too with the oaken doors mm -hmm. Your inclination, you know that you have Joe the Fire Elemental. You know you've tried to go through these doors before and haven't been able to. Mm -hmm. So you can, you might try to burn the doors or right. whatever. But no, what you do, you just go north. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you did open, open door. door. See, I didn't try that. Yeah, but you're right. Type burn door and that's not going to work. This also ticked me off. Because, like, you got this assassin. He shoots you. Drink vial. Or drink potion or whatever. And you, why would you know that? Right. Right. And then you have to kill him again. Yeah. 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 Overall, I, this... I wasn't a fan of this. There was one puzzle I really, really liked. Which one? Do you do you have one you really, really liked? I'm wondering if it's the same one. I I. I I thought the dig where the X's aren't puzzle was pretty good. That one's not bad. The boots part of it. Because you need the boots to levitate. Yeah. And if you use them in the wrong spot, it's, you've wasted them. Right. That's definitely one you're going to have to save and reload. But, like, I, I figured that out as a kid, and I felt smart, and, like, it, the piece yeah, it gives you a hint. There's like a text on the pendant or something. Right. So you can get there and you can figure that one out yourself. I like the doors puzzle at the bottom of the swell. Yes. Go left, then right until stop. Mm -hmm. That is a fantastic puzzle because it tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to read it that way. This one right here. First mm -hmm. left and then right until stop. 
like most people are going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's not going to work. You got to go left, then right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. and, right. And when you know that, you're like, oh, yeah, that one's on me. Like, and that's how mm -hmm. you want to feel. You want to feel like if you're tricked, you want to feel like, no, I rushed. I didn't think it through. I, mm -hmm. It's my fault. I didn't get that. And doesn't he hit you again with the sign too to confuse you? Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this this is actually a, a one That's of the a better. Really, I really liked this puzzle, and this is what hurts me about this game. I mean, again, we're sort of picking on someone's first attempt here, so I feel a little bad about that. But not just I, someone I, either. I know, right? <laughs> but. Because there are little moments of brilliance like this that are fun and clever and well done, it makes the weak parts in the rest of the game really stand out. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. why is the rabbit up in the air on the right? <laughs> Don't question it. It's a nice nod to Monty Python, I think. Mm -hmm. It should add some bones. Yeah, the bones. totally. Look at the bones. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I just, my notes basically say, say it's a real mess. Right. And my notes have things like, I don't think it would be impossible without a walkthrough, but it's really, really, really obtuse. Yeah. Like, this is not, you know, you're not going to sit, unless you're really into this kind of game and you really enjoy, like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to get in his head and figure out if I yeah. was Brian Fargo, what would I say here? Right. Yeah. And you're going to spend a lot of time throwing shit at the wall, hoping something sticks. The th like moving the chest and right. like in the first that was one of the first things i texted you on too i was like i i am stuck mm -hmm. and you like move the chest i'm like oh my god we're doing that are we like yep. <laughs> just try everything yeah I, like i try i didn't encounter problems with the man but I, if you don't see that text the first time i, I get I guess the direction he ran because you follow him and then you have to go a direction. It worked for you. Oh, you yeah. followed him and then went. Cause yeah, I you... had, after I figured out type follow the next time I'm like, Oh, he runs North. So I went in the room and then immediately went North and that didn't give me the side door. You have to go in the room type follow man that will take you North. And then his door is open. So because I'd blown it so many times when I actually figured out follow man, the door was open and I knew which way to go. Right. And see, I didn't, I followed him right away and just happened to guess East was the, it. Like, his door. What's wrong with your brain that you thought to type follow man? <laughs> well, <laughs> like, like I never would, it just reading that I never would have thought type follow man. I, I, it just seemed intuitive to me because it didn't tell me which way you went. Fair enough. Like, that, I mean, I, I'm teasing you, but I'm more poking fun at me because I. Yeah. Like, it, I played it this as a, a kid, too. So, that. Yeah, that helps. But So I kind of knew, like, I didn't remember any of the puzzles except the air one because that's the one I cheated on. But. Um, but I knew that it was. I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be as mm -hmm. kind of. I don't want to say bad. I, that's the thing. I <laughs> we'll come to that in a second here. I don't necessarily think this is a irredeemably bad game. Mm -hmm. Like there were a few moments at the beginning where I was like, "Oh, I think we found our auto duel." Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. but as I got deeper and deeper into it and got past some of those initial you know brain melts i'm like no this is fine this is this is a fine game mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say it's great i'm gonna say it's 
it's one where if you like this kind of game and you like this kind of game from this time plan on picking it up and setting it down over and over mm -hmm. or getting a walkthrough yeah uh, to, to really experience but um, yeah that would be how I do it is just plan on spending a year or two yeah here's the guard room here's the guard room so let me just pause here there's some little you probably can't see them but there's like some little line smidges on the back wall mm -hmm. and like okay like I don't know why I'd know to climb that no you, you would not yeah because at this point I was in full walkthrough mode to get done for this because I wanted to see absolutely I did yeah it. I knew I wasn't coming back so exactly um, but the, the one I think are, are we closing in on the end of this? Because there's yeah, one final we're... note I want to say before we take away. All right. Um, I think this should really show people when you look at someone like, you know, Brian Fargo, who's such a, an icon in the industry, mm -hmm. and you think, oh, I'd never be that good. They all started out with a Demon Forge somewhere. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's It's... They're that good because they didn't let not being good keep them from getting good. And I think yep. a lot of us get in our own way that way. Absolutely. Yep. And, and so it's okay to kind of go back and look at something like this or look at like Richard Garriott's D and D 28 or, you know, any one of those things that were somebody's first attempt and go, yeah, I can do that. I can't do Ultima 7. I can't do Bard's Tale 4. I can't do Wasteland 3. Mm -hmm. But my god, I could do this. Like, I could yeah. start. I could get on the road. Right. And giving yourself permission to start. I, I, I hope if if our entire show gets one person to start making games because of that comment, I, I feel like we did a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and definitely no hate to, like, Brian Fargo. No. We're, not, we're not, like, taking the mask off Brian Fargo and saying, look, he sucks. Mm -mm. Like, no, he, he made a, a game and it got distributed. And like, this, this is, you know, as, as every... I played it all the way through. There are games I have not. <laughs> right. There are games you and I have been like, do we have to finish this? And we've given each other permission to be like, no, you don't no. have to finish this. This is too... No. But... This is not a Zorro. It's not an auto duel. We have not found your below auto duel yet. Um, yeah but yeah it's it's not uh you know it's not bard's tale that's for damn sure yeah but uh you know it was part of my childhood and yeah. like it has their demon qualities and it it was doing some stuff so you right know, i can like, say i enjoyed my right. time with it yeah 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 uh, it's not good, but I enjoyed my time with it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of like fun to get stuck, and then it's fun Unstuck. to go get a walk through and yeah. just be like, oh, okay, th that's what this is. Yep, that's what we're doing here. All right. All yep. right. Uh, yeah. Anything else on this? I'm trying to think. Of, I'm looking through my other notes here. Um, I wish I could have played it back then. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinnacle and Pit. Peek in the pit, you mean? Nope. Uh, all right, Kim Kardashian. My peak was booting it up and getting the flood of nostalgia of yeah. just being unceremoniously dumped at that entrance. Mm -hmm. And my pit was that I eventually got frustrated and got a walkthrough. And then I was going through the walkthrough and I, like, I'm like, I'm just going to breeze through this in 15 minutes. And then I like got to the rabbit and like mistyped something or whatever, or did the wrong thing or missed a step and the rabbit anyway. killed me. And like, and I like knew what to do with that puzzle. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to do it with the walkthrough. Like I'm just going to read the rest of this walkthrough or watch a video or something. Yeah. So that was a, that was a bummer because I kind of want because I never beat it as a kid and I right. kind of wanted to just like 
see every screen in its glory and all that shit. And I just, I never did it because I just didn't want to slog through following the man and moving the chest and all that stuff for the 800th time. I mean, I know you can save, but. Right. And I had to reload this a couple times because I screwed some stuff up here and there. So, mm-hmm. um, what's your pit? That was, was my pit. pit. That was your pit. That was your pit. Yeah. What was yours? Uh, my pinnacle, my pinnacle was jumping in the well with the fire elemental and watching the water evaporate. Cause I drowned in the well a couple times where mm-hmm. I finally figured out how to get the elemental mm-hmm. and then got it. And when that happened and I saw like a whole new area, the thing open up, I got that dopamine rush. I got that thing I'm looking for out of a game like this. It's like, yes, mm-hmm. I'm moving on. I'm making progress. Uh, I think the game's pinnacle is the left, right puzzle. Mm-hmm. I think that's just the best puzzle in the game. It's not great. It's not the most in-depth. It's not the most original, but it's good. It's solid. It's well done. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, you I got can't... no one to be mad at yeah. but yourself if you fuck that one up. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah it's um, clever. The pit, like, I, my pit is pit. The rest of it, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, either the costume vial assassin puzzle, because I don't like that the vial's hidden. I don't like that you have to think to search an inventory object to get an inventory object. I never like that, mm-hmm. especially when a costume isn't something you normally think of as a container. You've got to make too many logical jumps mm-hmm. to get to that point. It's not impossible. People have done it, but it's hard to think like I should search an item for items. Yeah. Like if they said a code of pockets, you'd be like, oh, I should probably search that code. And if you don't, then it's on you. And that's kind of what I mean by like, you got to throw the clue and then let the player miss it until they don't. And then they feel smart and they feel like they've pieced something together. Even yeah. if it's as obvious as go left and then right. Yeah. You can do an obvious clue and the player will still feel like, aha. <laughs> right. Uh, you have to know drink water. Yeah, it's just that whole puzzle feels poorly done. Um, but honorable mention is that rabbit and carrot. And I know you get the carrot after the rabbit, but mm-hmm. still, like, right. you should have given the rabbit a carrot. Or if you're going to go full Monty Python, there should be a holy hand grenade in here somewhere. You know, and like that reminds me with the carrot puzzle. Like later, you, mm-hmm. there's a sign and it's too far away to read, and so you. I eat did the like that one too. But I thought I always thought the thing was that carrots were supposed to help you with night vision, not just like visual acuity. There's, it is, and it's sort of in physical reality a myth, but it is one yeah. of those where carrots are supposed to help your eyesight. So eating a carrot to help your eyesight, like I can at least make the logical connections between boop, boop, boop to Mm -hmm. do it. It's still weird, but it's not as weird as like a search, you know, search pockets or something on something that never says it has pockets. Right. Well, Well, the thing that was weird to me was I thought the conventional wisdom was different than the game and i don't know if that's a me thing or uh because i again i thought carrots helped your night vision i think it's been sort of watered down like i had always just heard vision okay um but then later like you're like no it's just night vision and then like i started reading other things and they're like yeah maybe technically but also like it's kind of like dropping a glass of water in the ocean makes it fuller (laughs) <laughs> right you're not you're not gonna suddenly not need glasses if you eat carrots every day like it's yeah so. maybe the community will engage with the community and the community will tell us their understanding of that myth do you see that engagement i saw that engagement that's beautiful there i know no one's watched this far into the show though because everyone's like been done for the last 20 minutes but if on the off chance you're not, let us know in the comments. If you're on the off chance you're not, let us know. And if you're on the off chance you're not, there's oh, there's the sign he's talking about. Let me pop. That yeah, up. show show us the big the big badass. Okay, 
So we'll do here. Oh, go back. God, he's cool though. It's it's slightly better than the fantasy demon. Like you yeah. know, like I'm I'm into this. Yeah, into this the is demon. a metal album cover, man. He, you know, Brian Fargo listened to Dio. Like this is <laughs> oh, for real. And then you get that, and you get this. Mm-hmm. Not a sound in this thing. By Not the a way. sound in this thing. Legit ending though. Like if I got this at the end, this is better than some other games endings I've got. Like oh for sure yeah. I mean yeah. But I love that like you walk out and you're immediately arrested by the guards again. It's like what? <laughs> right. Yeah, because that's the plot of this game is that you like kill some guards while drunk and they just dump you. In, here. in this like weird dungeon that I'm not sure who is maintaining, um, and that's only in the manual because there's no plot. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got on Demon's Forge. I want to look something up real quick. Oh boy. Mike Crawford did the art or Cranford. Yeah. Uh, did the artwork. Um, which was then digitized by Brian Fargo for this game. I don't know what anyone else did. So here's one of the things. Like, Cranford reviewed this, and he helped with the artwork. He reviewed it in, like, Micro Reviews Computer Gaming World. And it's like, dude. <laughs> I want to I review my own that. game. <laughs> I know. That's great. Oh, my God. All right. What do we got? What do we have next here? Why is this? Oh boy! Oh geez! Oh boy! Is... Oh, I see what's going oh. on. All right. Ah, oh, right. embarrassing. I oh, hey! Right over Moscow. Play it like there's no tomorrow. Play it like there's no tomorrow. Uh, have you tried it yet? No. All right. <laughs> no, I'm gonna though. You got it. It's it's good. You'll like it, or you won't. I don't know. We'll find out. It's very arcadey. Uh, the other one? Well, that's something a little fun, and let's do Dark Forces. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, we had good luck so, with TIE Fighter. We can get that DMCA takedown for the music again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, George. Sorry, George. It wasn't, this one wasn't the one we got the DMCA for, which is also amusing. Didn't we get something for a TIE Fighter? No, not TIE Fighter, because I've never... I swear we got a takedown for TIE Fighter. I can look through what it was and send it to you sometime, but it wasn't TIE Fighter. Well, I think it was Theme Park, too. Yes, Theme Park. But I swear we got one for the TIE Fighter music, and you had to go back and edit the music out. I'll look. I don't think so, but I'll double check. My brain is old enough that... Yeah, I mean... It's been a long time. We've been quite fortunate, though. We have, but that's also part of why we get requests every so often. Like, why don't you play the music for stuff in the in the show? Because it's just begging for someone to strike us and take the. It's because you don't know how to do it. (laughs) You don't know how to work the sliders in in uh, (laughs) in OBS. That's what you're googling all the time. Uh, That's what I'm here typing with both these fingers. Tippity 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 tippity. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah no i think this will be fun i think it'll be good i think we'll be back on track i think next week we will do another live stream of Knox and try yes, and they... get, try and remember where we are i think we're shopping right. yeah then... we're we're just trying to buff up for a couple big fights and then i think we're in the home stretch on Knox. so Thanks for bearing with us. I know it's been quite an absence, but there's, there's been a absence lot going on. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Or go yonder if or you're yonder. King's, King's Quest, Quest whatever. Yes. 78, whatever. 78. Which one that was? I don't know. <laughs> That's King's Quest 2, Electric Boogaloo. That's uh, <laughs> Legend of Curly's Gold. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.
Big thank you to all of you watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, suggesting games, commenting on our videos, or supporting us on Patreon. We appreciate all of your support. Look forward to sharing many more videos with you. Thank you again.